Welcome to Inspiring Business with your host, Mark Bullock, who is the co-founder of Videosocials.net and of VideoInterviewPodcast.com. In every episode, Mark interviews business and organizational thought leaders who share their stories of how they inspire others by making a difference. You can find this show on Videosocials.net and YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and almost any podcast platform of your choosing. Welcome, folks. And today is my guest is my friend and client, and I'm excited to have him, Peter Gordon. Peter is a daily money manager, a fiduciary, a certified senior advisor, a financial organizer. It's sometimes known as a personal bookkeeper. Welcome, Peter. It's wonderful to have you. Hi, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. I like being on this side of the camera. <laughs> Yes, because you are doing your own uh, your own podcast, your own video interview That's podcast, correct. now, so which is, which is fantastic, and we'll 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 cover that a little bit more later. But um, you know, I had several questions that I think really has to do with what a, what a lot of people would want to would want to know, and you know, and that has to do with you know how did you get started with this? And really, I think the best place to start is what's your story? I mean, what. Well, that's my story. So it's an interesting story. This is my third career. So the first was on Wall Street as a clerk. I started as a clerk when I got out of college. And uh, I was trying to figure out, this is during the 80s, how, where I fit. You know, what was, what was I, what was I going to do? And um, I eventually got an MBA in finance and, and worked with a great company called Sanford Bernstein, but realized that um, dealing with investment strategy, it was not for me. And I started doing charts and graphs for that company on a computer program. And I ended up doing all their slide presentations. They did a lot of conferences. And uh, I took that knowledge and decided I wanted to be on my own. And in 1990, I started, I became a, um, I started a, a slide consultancy. Uh, very long story short, it became a graphic design firm. I met a, a, a fellow who was a designer and uh, we started working together and it grew into a full service graphic design firm. Um, many companies did not make it through 9-11 and we looked, happily did, um, but it was very tough. And, um, and from that, I decided that, you know, I think I need to, uh, to I, I need support. So we combined, we were bought out by uh, a printer mm -hmm. and that was in 2005. 2008 was a turning point in my life. Um, uh, and, you know, I've never said that before, but I realize mm -hmm. it, it is. Um, so 2008, um, my father became ill. And I'm very fortunate in that uh, I'm very close with my both my brother and my sister and my mom. And that, it doesn't always work that way, as I'll talk about later. Um, and we were searching for help because we didn't know what to do about my, my, my dad. We did, you know, medically. Uh, it was very confusing. And through networking... I discovered geriatric care management and geriatric care managers are people who help others, seniors, obviously, navigate the very difficult water waters of, uh, of, of medical care for seniors. And that changed our lives. It, she gave us direction and it was, it was wonderful. Um, 2008 also was, uh, the collapse of, uh, uh, you know, the economy, the, um, the, the recession, the great recession, mm -hmm. right. and it kind of right. changed the business. And uh, I eventually left that company and kind of went out on my own, really trying to discover what my next step was. And uh, I was a consultant in, in graphic design and I did a lot of different things. It was an interesting journey. And what happened was my, my father passed away and then my mom became ill and uh, she had dementia and she was bed, bed bound. And through an attorney and this geriatric care manager, we discovered Community Medicaid, which is a phenomenal program. And I helped administer that for my mom and realized I loved helping my mother. And I was fascinated by the work with Community Medicaid and what's called a pooled income trust. And, and I figured, OK, I'm going to look into becoming a geriatric care manager. I didn't really want to go back to school, though. And um, it you know, I looked into it and I actually took some courses 
I was like, this is not for me. And then I was directed through a friend, uh, John Parisi, who I interviewed on my podcast, <laughs> who's a, he knew a man named Henry Alta who had an organization called the Orion Resource Group. And Orion is an organization that is dedicated to helping seniors. And its members are all people who are in the geriatric care service right. industries. It, yeah, it was perfect for me. And I joined and um, I started talking to people about geriatric care services. And I, I, I called one fellow who I thought was a, what we call a GCM. And he said, I'm not a care manager. I'm a daily money manager. And I'm looking at your resume and you should be one too. You're perfect for that. So um, that's how I, I, I kind of found it. And I, and I am perfect for it in that uh, I have an MBA in finance. I used to say that in three dollars or two seventy five gets me on the subway, but there is something to it. There is uh, it's good to have that knowledge, and um, and I have uh, I really really enjoy working mm -hmm. with the seniors and most importantly helping people, um, and and so I pursued this world of daily money management. Fantastic, because, you know, we, we all have our, you know, winding paths to, to end up where we're at. And, and, and really, I, I had you in mind, uh, along with several other people, when I created the Inspiring Business podcast, because seeing, seeing individuals who have whatever backgrounds that they have start to focus their, their lives, their energy, their, their experience and their training uh, into really helping people, into making a difference uh, for those that we serve is is what this podcast is all about. And frankly, it's what our business through practice marketing is all about. So, um, yes. but a, along, along those lines, um, I think it would be valuable if you could kind of define what is daily management, money management, because that could, that could mean a lot of different things. Well, daily money management is a terrible name. <laughs> for for my profession, most people hear that and they say, "Oh, you're a day trader, okay, you ma or you manage money." You know, I worked for a money manager that was Sanford Bernstein and some others. We don't do that. We do all the non-investment side of finance, which is more the personal financial world, and it's not investing. We're not financial advisors, so we help people pay their bills. Uh, we do. Um, we help them. You know file insurance claims we help them manage their budgets and um and so essentially we're organizing their finances and i'm finding actually people on you know nobody knows daily money management and i'm finding that people are finding us by typing in financial organization nobody knows that either but it's starting to come up and um so as an example um for for what we do is we're often contacted by an individual who's uh, in the, you know, in the sandwich generation. So they they have children and they have parents, <laughs> you know, and they're 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 looking for help in dealing with their parents. And um, maybe they're living in another state. Maybe they're just overly busy. You know that they're having a really really hard time, and so they'll reach out to us. Now they can possibly find this online but they very often are referred by someone else that we've worked with or most likely um an attorney or a geriatric care manager or someone of that that uh in that profession however we also get referrals from attorneys and uh from uh, care managers and others in the geriatric care service industries from for people who have no one else you know they literally have no family or a couple of people who are in another state and and they need help. And, um, and actually, to tell you the truth, that's my favorite kind of client. Um, and, and that's why this is so rewarding. So we become, I would say we're 50% bookkeeper, but also 50% social worker. Um, our clients really enjoy co us coming over and opening up the mail and sitting with them and uh, kibitzing for lack of a better term. And, uh, and so uh, it's, it's very interesting. And it, the, the work we do is, is varied 
and it's also you know wide <laughs> yeah and so i'm thinking of a particular client that i met um about two and a half years ago at the beginning of the pandemic mm -hmm. and he had got this is through an attorney he has one relative who lives on the west coast otherwise he has no one and he has some friends in his building and he had a, a problem because he he played the stock market and he had he was on margin and i guess this is where my financial background is helpful and when the market crashes which it did and you're on margin they do what's called a margin call and you have to make up the difference of the value of your portfolio to to what you borrowed right. so he was looking at having to pay them forty thousand dollars and uh, good news is he had it the bad news is he didn't know what to do and how to take care of this so i was able to step in uh i remember it was right before everything closed you know and i go into fedex on like uh march 12th or something you know before black friday and sending information sending the necessary forms to uh, his mutual fund to transfer assets in kind to his brokerage account. So he didn't have to pay for that and um, saved him a great deal of money. Uh, and then began working with him and eventually became his fiduciary. So a fiduciary is somebody who is um, who, who works for someone else and manages their assets and helps them with their uh, financial, usually financial, it can also be health related. Uh, with their financial needs and has to the the role of the fiduciary is to do everything for the benefit of the individual and what they would want and so at a classic fiduciary is a power of attorney now you don't have to be to be a fiduciary you know you don't have to have a legal uh form uh, everyone is should be a fiduciary and anytime we help a client it's always at their best interest and what they would mm -hmm. want right uh, in the case of this client we became power of attorney and exec uh, executor of uh, of his estate because he really had no one who was willing to do that and um and and then we form a team you know so i was introduced by an attorney she brought in a care manager um we we with his agreement we put his money in with a person with a financial advisor because it just made more sense than uh what the way he was doing it and uh, um he eventually got home health care aids you know so all these people what i call all these different professions mm -hmm. I, I call them spokes in the wheel so we have a wheel which is the client and to support them you need different spokes and daily money management is one spoke and care manager is another spoke and an attorney and a financial advisor and it's all different every every client i work with has a different group of people and um thankfully you know through the uh this group of the orion the, that i met the orion resource group i know all the experts out there uh in in this not all but i know enough and uh, and can you know become a resource for my clients because I'm an expert in what I do. We help people organize their finances. And that's what I want to do. And But I want to help my clients. And the best way to do that is to um, refer them to others who are um, quite capable in their expertise. And then form a support group and, um, and, and, and make sure our clients get the services they need and are happy. And, right. and one look. And as, as Orion, the Orion group says, they age with dignity. Absolutely. And um, from personal experience, and although um, we haven't engaged as, as far as uh, needing your specific services for my mom, as an example, we had a conversation. And uh, some time ago, and you connected me with with many of those resources, and it was absolutely invaluable. So, not only are you a spoke on that wheel, you also act as a hub for that wheel. In other words, well, you're, if you have questions in this arena, and uh, and 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 we'll get into it in, in a moment who your clients are and where they are, um, but uh, Peter is a phenomenal. Uh, connector um, and, and, and helping people figure out who do you need to talk to under what circumstances based on what you're up against at the time, what your goals are, 
um, and, and what, what needs to be taken care of. So I, you know, I just wanted to give a, a shout out to you on that because it was incredibly generous for you to do and incredibly valuable uh, to, to, to have you as a resource for, uh, for my mom in that situation. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I mentioned I had a, uh, you know, I, I had a transition between the graphic design world and this world. And very often I said to myself for years, how can I take advantage of this talent that I have of connecting people? Because it mm. is a talent, you know, and uh, my superpower. I hate that term. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and and because and I get so much out of it. And right. I was meant to do what I'm doing <laughs> all my life. I just happened to find it, you know, when I was uh, 58. But the beautiful side of all of this and for New York financial organizers, my partner, who's 29 years old, is my son. Which is freaking and, awesome. <laughs> and, and, and that was not a plan. I had no intention that my, I mean, I could never work with my father. Um, but in his journey, it this made perfect sense. And I know I saw my parents take care of their parents. And I saw... And then, and then I obviously took care of my parents and my wife took care of her parents mm -hmm. and you know, we did the right thing. And Jacob, my partner saw that too and has an affinity for working with the elderly and is really good at it. And where, it, where it benefits our clients is that there's a succession here. So if I'm power of attorney and he's successor power of attorney, if something happens to me, it's, it, it, it's very fluid. The, the client doesn't have to worry. So we have a client who's 100 years old. And when she found out that, uh, you know, Jacob would be the successor power of attorney and successor trustee, she was like, oh, thank God, because it, when you die before me, then I'll have somebody else to, uh, to handle my affairs. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. It's a day at a time. What we have is <laughs> it certainly is that every day that you wake up is a, is a good day right so at, at, yeah. at a certain point in life so um so i i did want to take just a moment just to say you know how we know each other and 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 and, and how we're working together because uh it, it is such a prime example i mean you, you have a podcast uh, that that you've started now called organizing life's daily demands and you have a youtube channel and you have a, a website with a blog that has both written blogs and and videos etc and we've been involved in, in 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 kind of the logistics and helping you with with many of those things and so um just for just for our listeners what uh what we're doing, we, we have three services uh, that we provide through practice marketing. And uh, it began with phone blogger and phone blogger was simply the realization that people like Peter and, and other professionals, they're busy taking care of their clients. They're busy doing their network and they're busy doing what you're running their companies and to spend hours grooving over writing out a blog post and, and then trying to get it up onto all the right places and, and have somebody proof it and make sure that, you know, all the grammar's correct, et cetera, et cetera. It's just, it, what a pain in the neck. And so it was the one thing that we had the hardest time doing. We knew our clients needed to be out there, needed to be out on social media, needed to be sending newsletters, needed to be uh, uh, emailing and, and connecting with people, but getting the content out of them was, was, a huge investment of their time uh, and, and, and just kept getting in the way. So we created a process by which an editor would literally call them, have a five or 10 minute conversation, record that, um, transcribe it, and then professionally edit that into an article. It is, it is your words. It is, you are the author. Uh, we're acting as your editor and your publisher. Um, so it's, it's essentially online publishing for editing and publishing for, um, uh, for text. As time went by, video has taken over and you joined early on to our our newer service, which was video socials. And that I was love video socials. And and and, and that is uh, people coming together like like minded um, from all different industries, uh, lots of professional services though, um, and come together into a room of you know five to ten five to ten of us and take turns recording our two or three minute um, video blog posts, as it were. Um, and, and then I'll, I'll, I'll ask you in a moment how, how that's been going for you and what kind of difference that's made for you. Um, and, then, um, uh, and then lastly, what your 
just recently getting into and what I'm doing here, which is videointerviewpodcast.com. And that is putting together a podcast like this is a whole bunch of moving parts and pieces and a whole bunch of scheduling and coordinating and, um, you know, having somebody to run this platform behind the scenes so that we can have a conversation. And I'm not sitting there trying to chase technology and, and, and instead of uh, actually being able to, for us to have this conversation. Um, but, you know, I think what you have the most experience with is video socials and, and what, what has that done for you? Well, it's giving me content and content is king. And, um, you know, I did start with uh, phone blogger and that was, that was great. But then when this came available, it seemed to make so much sense. And, and the, the buzz was that, you know, Google loves video and, uh, and YouTube, you know, is, is, um, is, you know, ubiquitous at this point. And people go to YouTube to find people. So you yeah. need to have something. So I have a YouTube channel that, um, I mean, I could have created things by myself, but video socials just made it so much easier. Plus, it's a wonderful learning experience and it's educational. So every week when I could, you know, it's like maybe every other week, I ha I, you have an opportunity to do it every week. I pay for it monthly, which is phenomenal. It's very valuable and affordable. Um, and I would go to my club and there the same people would show up in different industries. And it didn't really matter uh, what industry they were in, but they would provide feedback on my little two to three minute clip. And it was great, you know, and it took a while for me to develop uh, a pattern. Um, you know, and it's not simple. It's not easy. And the people come in and they're, they're afraid and the support is wonderful. And then as you get better, the support and the, the, the constructive criticism is wonderful. And you really learn how to do it. And so I use uh, my videos. I, I'm, I'm kind of critical of myself. So I'll, every video I don't use, but when I like what it is, it'll go onto my blog. It'll certainly go onto my YouTube page. I'll use it within LinkedIn. I have one of my uh, videos on my, um, on my signature. I'm going to change that. Maybe I might start to use this because I really like how this came, came out. Um, so uh, it's, it's phenomenal. And uh, so much, there's so much value in there because of the other people in the group and, and their friendships that I've, formed uh you know then i haven't met anybody well a couple of people i met in person that's more of a um a product of the uh pandemic but mm -hmm. that's where we are but we seem to be moving out of that which is wonderful so uh, thank you peter and, and thank you for your contribution to it because we literally you know essentially created it out of thin air um as all of our services that, that yeah. we created but we, we but we create them for you. We create them for our clients and for our members. Um, and it's with your feedback and your experience and your and, and, and uh, that um, it's all come about. And and so if you have an interest in written blog posts and you'd like help with that, that's uh, phoneblogger.net. If uh, you want to explore uh, creating video for purposes of marketing, getting out there on YouTube, getting uh, getting your presence built uh, and branding yourself and marketing through video. That's videosocials.net. And we'd love to have you as a guest. Just click on the little guest button at the top of the top of the yeah, screen. I would highly recommend it. Yeah. And, and, and check and, it out. And if you're and if you're and if if that's something that you're already pretty comfortable with and, and, and have a handle on and you're looking at doing this a little bit more complicated thing called podcasting or video interview podcasting, it's videointerviewpodcast.com. And one of the great benefits of uh, of all of what you said, but especially of the of the, the podcast and um my past my podcast is called Organizing Life's Daily Demands. Mm -hmm. And it, if you type in organizing life daily demands or something, you know, you know, or podcast and podcast, I'm going to come up in many different ways. So it's more content and it's on a variety of different platforms in addition to my own, but it goes on all these podcasts. So again, content is king and you need that um, uh, presence to be seen online. And 
as I said, again, nobody knows daily money management. Nobody sits, says, you know, I have to help my parents pay their bills. This is driving me crazy. Let me find the daily money manager. Nobody does that. And, and, and that's the problem with our industry. But they do. But but we are starting to get hits. And I know it's because um, of the content we've put up. And then once people see videos, they they literally refer to a video that I've done as to why they've called me. Which is the whole goal in mind. I mean, it's opening a relationship. You know, this isn't, you know, spray and pray. This isn't, you know, throw content out there to the wind. It's, you know, all of your content and, and virtually all the content of all of the people that we serve uh, is designed to provide something that's valuable and educational and, 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 and you know, in bite-sized chunks that people can, can, exactly. can use, answer their questions, help them figure out what, you know, what to do next. Uh, with whatever problem or concern that they're that they're trying to handle, and 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 you have a whole library now, um, oh, yeah. of of that content across many platforms. So yeah. there will be li there will be links. different backgrounds, and it's like yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's all content. It, it, yeah, you know. and, and and it's all authentic content. It's it's all oh. it's all useful and valuable and informational uh, uh, to your audience, and it's all free. And there'll be links below for. For all of, of Peter's stuff, as far as all of that takes work, also, uh, you know, and we're working on it with, uh, you know, I have a virtual assistant who helps post this stuff, and uh, it's, you know, I always think I'm behind everything, and then I realize, you know, somewhere here from like somebody said, I was in a Zoom networking thing, and somebody said, yeah, and Peter has a whole YouTube library, and nobody has that. And I could always look at myself as being behind, but in many ways, I'm not, you know, and that's one. Well, and, and I, and, you know, I don't want to just make this a, a, about, you know, video socials and video interview podcasts and stuff like that. But, you, you know, one of the things that I think is important, and that's going to lead to my to, to my last you know big question for you, uh, which is, you know, who are your clients? But whoever your clients are, they're probably online getting information. Oh, and absolutely. that may be through websites, that may be through social media platforms, that may be through uh, stuff that's coming into their inbox and email. And um, all of that becomes available if you're creating content that is centered around them. That is giving, it, it, you know, who, want, who wants to watch an infomercial in their newsfeed for whatever social media platform they're on? Nobody, right? So, um, uh, and in this arena, and, and I'll, I'll give one stat and, 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 then, and then we'll move on. Um, and that statistic is there's a million YouTubers out there. There's a million YouTube channels that are out there. Well, there's 7.8 billion people on the planet. <laughs> That's one tenth of one tenth of one tenth of one tenth of one percent of the population. So if you're out there, even if it's not polished, even if it's not perfect, the fact of the matter is you're ahead of 99.999% of the rest of the population That's true. and that, and down. that translates to your industry in your location right so we all feel like we're behind we all feel like we could do more you know i've done hundreds of videos i have hundreds of written blog posts that's taken a decade to do i don't feel like i'm behind the ball right but at, this, at, at the same token, I always I, it, it's just astonishing. There's always more to talk about because every client question, every 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 um, situation, every story of every client that we've ever worked with becomes another you know another learning lesson, another opportunity to to to, to share information that's valuable to people. So, right. So, well, uh, yeah. just real quick. So, as an example, I'm doing a video social today, and it's going to be it's always informational. It's not. Uh, it's not a sales thing. It's always information, right. informational. So today I'm going to talk about the difference between hiring a home health care aid through an agency or privately. And um, and that's based on my experience. And I'll tell it as a story mm -hmm. related to an issue I have with a client. And so it's great. You know, that's it's more content. Fantastic. So bringing kind of the wrapper back around, who are your clients? I mean, are so, you... My clients, we, I'd say 85% of my clients are seniors and the, and the, the rest are, are kind of busy professionals, high net worth individuals. Uh, we do, we pretty much 
do similar work for them all in that the backbone of our work is accessing our clients, checking and credit card accounts, and bringing them into Quicken, and then categorizing everything. And then you end up seeing all of what's coming in, all of what's going out, and where. And then we share that information with our clients or with our clients' family members or, or attorneys. It all depends on those different spokes in the wheel on who's, you know, uh, who's coordinating everything. Yeah. And so um, those leads come from real uh, 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 trusted estate attorneys, elder law attorneys, um, home health care agencies, uh, geriatric care managers are excellent uh, resources. And, um, and, you know, so what I'm finding, though, is for the high net worth individuals that we're finding, they're finding us online. Most of that other work is referral. But people mm -hmm. have uh, found us um, who are just overwhelmed and they want to have a plan and they want to have a budget and we help them do that. And uh, recently I talked to somebody and she found us and she said, oh, I really like, you know, I watch your videos and I really like your New York vibe. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, great. I'll keep it up. Well, and that's kind of, and that's kind of the magic of video, right? Because it, it's so much more than the written word. It's even more than the, than the audio because you can see the facial expressions. You can get a sense of the energy. I often say, basically, you know, it's all about getting people to familiar with you and to get to know you, and then get to like you, and then and somewhere along the lines they become to trust you. Well, video really takes us a lot further down that pathway than any than than any other any other Absolutely. platform that, that 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 we work on because we get to get a sense of what it's like to sit across the desk from you, um, and that actually takes some skill and some practice, which is what which is what you know you've done because frankly, whether you did it through video socials or on your own or through a video, a video production company, it comes down to practice. It comes down to, to actually doing it. And why, and why not make those practices valuable for the audience and get them out there, even if there's a bobble in the voice or, you know, some, something isn't, isn't as smooth or as clear. And, and I often say it's not the 11 o'clock news. And that's not what people are going to get when they go to your YouTube channel and they or, and or they watch your podcast on, on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> they're going to get the authentic you and the stories and the and, and the learning lessons that, that you've had. And so it's incredibly, it's incredibly valuable. And Peter, I wanted to wrap up by saying thank you. Sure. Because, um, uh, you know, you're not only making a difference in the services that you provide, you're also making the difference in who you're connecting people with that if you can't serve them or they have a need that doesn't isn't a, isn't a perfect fit for you you're going to know somebody that that is a perfect fit to uh, for for them and 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 thank you for the generosity of that and then beyond that is the content that you create because the content that you create makes a difference by itself right so even if somebody's in another country or in a you know <laughs> you know across uh, you know it's just not it's not necessarily a fit to work with you or or, or doesn't work with within your geographical area that, that that you can serve and i and i assume that it's not just new york that you can no well we can't we like we have clients a few clients around the country one in florida or california um and we could work virtually and sometimes we right. travel there if necessary but it's mostly virtual work yeah because you're you're it's it's not something that requires like a you know a a, a a securities license or something like that because you're no. not doing that kind of work. No. You're, 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 sure, you're, you're you're helping them manage their you're helping them manage their yeah. checkbook and their and and their and their and their, and, their, their and, and also we, we like refer stuff. people around the country, you know, so right. it doesn't matter. I have a pretty large right. network. Right. Um, so I think I have to go. I'm sorry. I, yeah, and I and 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 I do too. We could go on all day, but we Absolutely. will have links, uh, uh, folks, for for everything that we talked about below. Uh, or connected with it with this podcast again peter thank you so much not just for coming and, and sharing today but for what you do for the content that you create and and the people that you serve because you you're the embodiment of making thank you mark and i will say that it's a perfect name for your podcast inspiring business because you're inspiring and i know you get inspired 
by all the videos that you've seen make you know you come to our group and and you really i mean you care and uh and and you're helping people reach other people so you're really working towards inspiring other business people so thank you very much absolutely all get all around is one of our mem is one of our members says but uh, thank you again peter and folks don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, in whatever channel that you're viewing it through, whether it be a podcast platform or YouTube or, or, or whatever the case may be, because Peter's one of many that we've oh. already had a conversation with and or going to be having a conversation with very soon. Again, thank you, Peter. And thank you. Thank, thank you for, for watching, folks. Take care. You've been listening to Inspiring Business with your host, Mark Bullock. Your positive comments, likes, and most importantly, your sharing of this show with others is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the Inspiring Business Podcast on whatever platform you prefer. You can catch prior episodes on videosocials.net and on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and all the major podcast platforms.